Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Topics With Me, where today we have just uh, something a little bit different planned. And I'll explain after the intro starts, okay? Roll it! My name is Derek Amal, and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family. And so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly, this is Topics With Me. So, if you guys haven't known, I've made a few changes to my channel, and one of them is involving more tech videos, because I don't get as many rec- Matter of fact, I don't get any recommendations, and I haven't gotten a comment in at least a month about anything to do with my videos, so I decided to take it a different route, because I have no suggestions, and I don't have any ideas other than anything to do with technology. I decided to focus more on providing you guys with more technological tips, tricks, and okay, okay tips uh, about technology. And, well, what's going on in the news right now? I look through articles, I do this in my own free time, I don't do them for videos, um, because I don't plan usually to do them for videos, but this is Topics With Me, and I wanted to rebrand, uh, not rebrand, but kind of reformat my channel into something much more interesting to me. So, I wanted to talk about something near and dear to my heart, and that is that ending device, uh, support for older devices. Now, if anyone has an iPhone out there, you know that it can last for um, a longer time, a longer period of time, and that's one of the rare things that I like about a specific phone brand in general. Uh, I don't really pick sides, but this is a very nice advantage over them. I had the SE, and I actually, this has been featured on almost every one of my videos um, as of, let's say, this year. It's been with Okedoke, Super Dupa, me, um, it's been with everyone. And I actually made videos with this for almost a full year last year, and it's kind of sad to see um, people, people thinking that it's going to go away. Now, I do believe that there is a place to get rid of them. For example, if you guys have seen what they're selling on the Apple website, uh, you would see that it is kind of discriminatory for the people that like small screens. I used to be one of those people, but I can now get around at the bigger screen because I have adapted. Now, I still want to use this phone because, you know, I, I still do edit on it and I still do some things um, social media-wise that everyone kind of knows me for if I'm doing the live streams. Now, the reason why I'm stuck on it is obvious. I mean, I still do use it sometimes, and as, lo as much as I can't use it as a normal phone because it's on the Sprint network and I technically have a T-Mobile plan, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's complicated. But the reason why I don't think it's fair is because it, my mom's iPhone 6S is a flagship. It's a phone that has been there uh, to be like top-notch in the class when it when it first came out and That one is not going to go away and the 5s is six years old with software updates So I predict that the 6s is going to also have at least six years uh, behind its back That's just the way that Apple does it. That's how history has been painting its past and I believe that it has enough to run, you know, well. And the thing where it comes in weirdly is that this SE has the same processor um, and the same RAM, which means it's pretty much the same as the 6, but in a smaller form factor or a smaller mm, size. But they'd have to develop a screen specifically for a 4-inch Phone and every every other one is 4.7, 5.5, 5.8, 6.1, and 6.5. These are all screen sizes along the sides when you measure them. That's how wide it should be when you measure them from side to side. That's actually how you measure a screen and how big it is. The reason why I believe it's going to be updated is because, well, I've been looking at these roamers and these things like that saying, oh, it's not going to be supported. No, it is. No. They go back and forth about why it isn't good for it to up be updated. They want to kind of lower their expectations, but me being optimistic, I have a few reasons that why it should be. And that is why the normal, that, that was why I bring my normal argument of why it should be allowed. And yeah, for one, it is the first, oh, it's not the first, but it is a budget phone and it was sold up until last year. And it is for sale on clearance right now on the Apple website. 
and they still do make them in India. So it, the, the making them and having them distributed is not the problem. The only problem that I see for them is developing four inches for their, you know, processing unit. Everything else is fine. The seven, the normal seven, they can't cancel the seven series because if they cancel the small seven and the big seven, it's gonna just create a rampage. A small seven, not the seven plus, runs on two gigabytes of RAM. So does the iPhone 6S, 6S plus, and the um, SE. They all run on two gigabyte architecture with 64 bit, uh, processor inside so all of them are capable of running it point number one point number two there's people always looking for smaller phones in the market and since they technically do support that one uh, be, as being a smaller one it could kind of get people to come to them as a you know company of you know keeping small phones around now I do see the market for that I do enjoy that they are still keeping that initiative but the issue that comes up with the screen size that they have developed for the uh, SE specifically only one phone they actually had the same issue with the iPhone 4s it was the only 3.5 inch screen at the time running iOS 9 now, uh, and 8 actually um, the 4 had been cancelled uh, at iOS 7 but the 4s went on for two major versions and there were the that was the only one that was running at, um, at a 3 by 2 um, aspect ratio so it was the first uh, it wasn't the first but it was one of the only ones left I believe that they are going to support it they, they just they, they can't because it's going to be just it's going to give youtubers a field day about whether it should be supported or not now it's a maybe to everyone who's right wrong no one really knows for sure but I think when June 3rd comes, I'll make a, I'll, de I'll definitely make a follow-up video about this and say whether the SE is going to be supported or not and kind of go my thoughts on it and see, you know, when, what I should be doing to kind of move past that. Because again, once they stop supporting an iPhone from its software update, it has two years until the apps kind of stop supporting it because their architectures, you know, end. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. This has been kind of like a ranting video. This has gone on long enough. Um, I'll make sure that I make my videos in higher quality. I haven't been able to make videos in the past week because like I told you from a few months ago, I'm going to start driving and stuff like that. I'm going to start going out and doing things to improve this channel and i hope the two guys stand by my side anyway i'll see you guys later but bye okay by the way if you wonder why i do that at the end of my videos i'm just establishing brand content okay